I had a huge crush on my best friend Brian for years. That's why I desperately wanted to be his girlfriend. But there was one problem, and that was Sarah. She was an absolute hoe and always wore crop tops and miniskirts to school. When Brian and I had a private conversation, she would often come over to us, stick her breasts out and talk like a dumb little girl. Brian, I forgot my lunch money. Can I borrow some of yours? Well, Brian is a nice guy, so he gave her $2. But then she hugged him right in front of me, pressing her breast against his body. Of course, I wanted to strangle her. Everyone knew that Brian and I were almost in a relationship, so she was openly trying to steal him away from me. The next day, I was on my way home from school when my skin started to prickle. I looked at my arm and noticed that it was completely red. I got so scared that I took a rest, but the prickling slowly turned into such an intense pain that I ended up screaming and jumping like someone had set me on fire. Luckily, a policeman saw me and decided to take me to the hospital. I remember lying on the bed and peeling off the first layer of my skin. It was so disgusting. But then the doctor told me, I'm sorry to inform you that your skin has developed an extreme form of aquagenic urticaria, also called water allergy. Even small bits of water will cause an extreme allergic reaction to your skin. That's why your sweat almost killed you today. From now on, you can't shower or sweat anymore. Gosh, it felt like a death sentence. But the worst part was that I couldn't go to school anymore to defend Brian from the hoe, Sarah. I knew I had to act fast. So I waited until my skin had recovered, and then I immediately invited Brian over to my house, while my parents weren't home. When I opened the door for him, he was shocked to see how I was dressed. I was wearing nothing but a short bikini. And when we went to my room, I picked up a sock from the ground to show Brian my butt. But then came the hard part. I told him about my water allergy and how I couldn't clean myself with water anymore and instead had to use powder. He didn't believe me at first, so I put a drop of water right on my breast. It slowly ran down into the bikini and within two minutes, a rash had formed. I asked him if he still liked me despite my condition and he said, of course I do. Well, that's what I wanted to hear. So I pushed him on my bed and sat on top of him. I asked, did you ever kiss a girl? And he responded, of course. I said, well, I've never kissed a boy before. He didn't respond. I guess he was too nervous. So I took the next step and went down to kiss him. I can't tell you what happened next, but I made sure he had a good time. When our date was over, I gave him one last hug and said, wow, you are absolutely amazing. You can always come by at night when my parents are asleep. You see, I was willing to do anything to make him my boyfriend. Did I feel like a hoe? Yes, a little bit. However, my plan had failed, because when I checked Sarah's Instagram the next week, I saw that she had posted a photo of herself eating ice cream with Brian. Of course I was furious, and I knew I had to act fast. So I invited Brian over to my house again. And this time, I made sure he had an even better time. I had bought myself a revealing bunny lingerie costume, and we did all kinds of things together. At one point, I sat on his lap and asked, Are we in a relationship now? He responded, I do like you a lot, but I'm not ready for something serious. Ouch, that was not what I had wanted to hear. I said, Come on, please. You know I love you so much. And he responded, Okay, I'll think about it. However, the next day, Sarah came to my house. She smirked and said, I saw what you did with Brian yesterday. In fact, I've recorded you two through the window on my smartphone. I wonder what your parents are going to do if they find out that their daughter is a naughty little girl. Oh, damn it. I knew my parents were going to kill me. <laughs> Sarah continued, I want you to break off all contact with Brian, or I will show your parents the video. I had to hold back my tears and only said, Okay, he's yours. Honestly, I had no choice. My parents were so strict that if they saw me naked doing dirty things with Brian, I'm sure they'd kick me out on the streets. So I wrote Brian one last message saying, 
Hey, this between us won't work out. I want to move on. When Brian responded, Oh, okay, with a sad smiley, I started crying uncontrollably, even though my tears caused rashes all the way down my face. I really thought my life was over. But then Brian knocked on my window. Gosh, this was so romantic. And when I opened it, he was looking as handsome as always. He said, Hey, it's okay if you don't want to see me again, but I need to know why. I couldn't hold back anymore and said, Of course I still want to see you. I love you more than anything else. Brian asked, So why did you send me that text? That's when I told him how the ho, Sarah, had filmed us last night <laughs> and that she was extorting me with the video. Brian said, Yeah, that sounds just like her. But I'm going to move into my own apartment next week. If you want, you can move in with me. Then you're far away from your parents. I said, You want me to live with you? And he responded, Yes, I would love to do that. But there is one condition. I will continue to see other girls, because I'm not ready to be in an exclusive relationship with you for the rest of my life. And I will also continue to see Sarah. Of course, I would have preferred to have Brian all for myself, but I loved him so much that I was willing to compromise. One week later, I moved in with him. But just the next day, Sarah came by. She was dressed as always, wearing a super short dress, looking like a hoe. She said to me, Hey, sweetie. And I responded, Oh, you must be tonight's guest. We all sat down on the couch, with Brian in the middle between us. We were watching a movie, but I couldn't enjoy it. The hoe was constantly cuddling herself against Brian. Twenty minutes into the movie, she even sat down on his lap and made out with him. If that wasn't bad enough... Brian took my hand and put it on her leg while kissing her. And that's just how the night started. The next morning, the hoe was gone. But I got an SMS from my dad, which said, We found a USB stick with a video of you and some guy. You have sinned and need to come back home now. But I didn't care what my parents thought of me. I had Brian and he was all I needed. Life was good. Well, at least until he told me that Sarah was going to move in with us for two weeks because her parents had kicked her out. I said, okay, but if she stays for more than two weeks, I'm going to move out again. The first night sleeping in the same bed as Sarah was terrible. She complained, why is the air conditioner so strong? I'm freezing in here. Then Brian explained to her that I was allergic to my own sweat, so we needed to keep it cool. Of course, she started giggling and said, really? So how do you take a shower? I said, I don't take showers. I clean myself with powder. That's when she bursted out laughing and said, Oh, that's why you smell so bad. Gosh, I hated her. And the next morning she woke me up, screaming, Oh no, she peed herself. I looked down, and indeed, my pants were wet. Sarah must have spilled a glass of water over me. I immediately rubbed it dry with the bedsheet, but it was too late. Both my legs were completely covered in rashes, and I cried out of pain. Once I felt better, I confronted Sarah, but she denied everything and said, You know me, I would never do that to you. I realized I couldn't let her get away with this, so I decided to secretly film her and Brian loving each other. I thought I could extort her, just like she had extorted me. But when I showed her the video, she only responded, Wow, I look great. I'm sure my daddy would be proud of me. Wow. She was such a hoe that she didn't care about her reputation at all. So I knew I had to do something even more extreme to get revenge on her. But it was too late and she beat me to the punch. She made Brian and I sit down on the couch and said, I have some wonderful news to share with you. Oh gosh, I knew this meant trouble, but I still wasn't prepared for what happened next. She pulled out a pregnancy test and screamed, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. My heart dropped because I knew it was over between Brian and me. There was no way I'd help him raise Sarah's child. He freaked out too, screaming, You camel, you got pregnant on purpose. But I had enough of this insanity. I said, Congratulations, Sarah. He's yours. And then I took my stuff and left. Going back home wasn't easy, though. My dad was still furious about the video of me and Brian. He shamed me for hours saying a promiscuous girl like me would never find a husband. He said, guys would just pass me around. Of course, I felt ashamed of myself, but I responded, 
Dad, I made a mistake. I get it. But I'm also 18 years old and not a child anymore. Then he opened his laptop and started playing Sarah's video of me and Brian doing dirty things. I quickly had enough, closed the laptop and said, If you don't want to support me, fine. I'm going to leave again. I actually didn't mean it. But my dad responded, Fine, go leave us and meet some guy. That's what you're best at. Wow. I left the house and sat down on the stairs for a moment. What was I supposed to do now? I had no idea. But when I checked my smartphone, I saw a message from Brian. It said, She is not pregnant. Sarah was only faking it. I just kicked her out, and I want you to come back. I love you, and I promise not to see any other girls anymore.